Astrologist Chris Boone. While we did see a pretty decent cool down last night, we did not struggle to warm right back into those triple digits once again this afternoon. Still continuing to see those triple digits that we've seen over the past several afternoons. So adding on yet another triple digit day so far this year and actually seeing now 43 triple digit days so far in the year of 2023, beating that annual average, but so far not close to seeing it as what we kind of saw back in 2011, that 100 triple digit days back in 2011. So we're not quite there yet, but still adding on those triple digit days, even as we're going to continue to see those, this heat over the next several afternoons. Currently 103 degrees downtown San Angelo, 58 for that dew point. So fairly dry out there. Humidity only sitting at 22% with those winds remaining fairly calm and out of the southeast right now, only at five miles per hour. And we've seen those temperatures just continue to increase over these past several hours. Afternoon. So looking at that temperature change as compared to what we saw at this time yesterday, all of us across the Concha Valley seeing a couple of degrees added onto what we saw at this time yesterday, about a two to three degree increase, so not too big of an increase, but we're just going to continue to see these slight increases over these next several afternoons as we just continue to warm up across the Concha Valley. Those current temperatures, almost all of us seeing those triple digits, 99 in El Dorado, 98 as in Sonora, 99 in Ozona and 97 in Big Lake, but the rest of us across the Concha Valley, all of us seeing those triple digits that we've been seeing over these past several afternoons, and actually even again seeing that increase as compared to what we saw yesterday. Even looking at the entire state, almost the entire state covered in those triple digits, only a couple of places really holding off and seeing those 90s 99 in Amarillo, 98 in Midland, 99 in Fort Stockton, and 96 in El Paso. Seems like a couple of those cooler spots are off towards the west. It seems like the heat is really starting to move off towards the east. We're still seeing those triple digits across much of the state. And we'll actually continue to see those triple digits for much of our afternoon, even looking at these next 12 hours, holding on to those triple digits and then staying in those 90s and 80s for the majority of the night as we start to cool down for those overnight hours. We'll continue to cool down and back into those 70s for those overnight lows. 75, a clear night. Those skies will be very clear as we go into those overnight hours tonight. Winds out of the southeast at 10 miles per hour. And even looking ahead to that afternoon tomorrow, those sunny skies just remaining in place and those temperatures increasing even as compared to what we saw today, 105 for that afternoon high. And even looking at that daily planner, planning out your Tuesday, 79 through the morning. But again, getting to those afternoon highs close to 104 and 105 through the afternoon. And that's why we're having those heat warnings in place across almost the entire Concho Valley. So seeing some of those excessive heat warnings as well as those heat advisory back in place for tomorrow starting at noon and expect firing at 8 p.m. So as we're going to continue to see these triple digit heat, we'll expect to see those heat advisories for the majority of the week with these sunny skies.